What's up guys, it's Dash Enforcer here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install callouts onto your LSPDFR. Um, now I know I am very late with this video, and I just wanted to apologize to you guys for that. Um, basically I got really busy with things, and I wasn't able to get in any uploads. Um, but I'm finally back, so today I'm going to show you guys how to make your game a lot more fun and install callouts to make your game more realistic. Um, this is basically going to allow you to respond to different types of callouts, like bank robbery calls. Um, you can respond to like, domestic calls and stuff like that. Um, if you guys haven't checked out my last video, I do suggest you guys go check that out. Also, be sure to join that Discord server. I'll be leaving that link down in the description below. Uh, without further ado, let's get straight into this tutorial. So the first thing you guys are going to go ahead and do is uh, head over to the link that I left down in the description below. And uh, once you click on that, you'll be brought to the lcpdfr.com website. And uh, once you're here, you should see something um, that says assorted callouts right over here. And uh, once you're on this page, you're just going to go ahead and scroll down until you see download this file. And you just want to go ahead and click on that and go ahead and select the and download. And uh, now the next thing you want to go ahead and do is select the main file. Always select the main file. Never select the older versions. Um, you're always going to want to select the most updated one. Uh, so once you're here, go ahead and select download and it should have started it. And uh, once you um, click that, you should see it on the bottom left hand side of your screen. So uh, once it's done, um, it'll give you that little blue, uh, that blue circle right there. And uh, you can just go ahead and open up the file. And uh, you should see something like this. It should say assorted callouts. Um, you can just go ahead and double click on that. And it's going to show you the documentation. And then it's going to show you the uh, files that you're going to want to drag and drop into your main directory. Um, so for now, you can just go ahead and minimize that. Now, the next thing you guys are going to want to go ahead and do is uh, head over to the other link that I left in the description below. Um, this is going to take you to the super callouts page. Um, this is just more additional callouts that you can get. Um, as I said, um, these are basically, uh, you know, um, extra callouts that you're able to install and uh, there's a lot more that you can get like these aren't the only uh, two that you are able to install but um, I'm just showing you guys how to install them so uh, yeah the next thing you guys are going to want to go ahead and do is uh, scroll down until you see down this file again and uh, select and create and download and then again you're going to want to go ahead and select the main file and uh, once you do that you'll see the download um, start right here on the bottom left hand side of your screen and uh, once that's done, it should pop up right here. And then uh, once that's finished, you can just go ahead and click on it. And it's going to show up the Super Callouts uh, folder. And these are also going to be the files that you're going to be uh, dragging and dropping into your um, main directory. So once you have this, um, you can go ahead and minimize that as well. And uh, the last you guys are going to want to go ahead and get is the Callouts Manager. Um, this is basically um, what you can use to uh, manually start up a callout. And uh, you can also use the console, um, the what's it called, the Rage Plugin Hook console as well. But this is just an easier way of manually starting starting up callouts, so you don't have to wait for dispatch to give you the calls. Uh, so once you're at this page, go ahead and scroll down and select download this file again, and go ahead and select agree and download. And once you have this, it's also going to show up on the bottom left hand side of your screen right over here. And once you have that installed, you're going to want to go ahead and just look at these files real quick plugins, LSPDFR, and here you go. So these are all going to be what you're going to want to be installing into your main directory. So at this time, you guys can just go ahead and uh, open up your GTA 5 main directory. Once you guys got your main directory open, the uh, next you guys are going to go ahead and do is select the assorted callouts uh, folder that you just have right here. And now what you're going to want to go ahead and do is select all four of these files right here. And you're just going to want to go ahead and drag them and drop them right in here. Um, just drag them and drop them and once you have them drag and dropped uh, you can go ahead and go into your plugins folder here in your uh, directory and you'll see that um, they should be installed right here in the lspdfr folder and uh, yeah you'll see them right here assorted callouts and uh, what you can do is you can go into your configuration settings and you can change all the values in here um, global key bindings um, talk key y um, you can change your link in, uh, unit type name all that stuff so once you have that done um, you can go ahead and select the right here it should give you the option to save it and if you made any changes make sure you do save it and uh, the next thing you want to go ahead and do is go back into your um, your main directory right here and go ahead and grab that super callouts uh, folder that you just had and you're going to want to do the same thing you're just going to go ahead and get all these three files right here and just drag them and drop them and once you have that drag and dropped, you can uh, go ahead and check in your plugins folder, LSPDFR, and make sure that it's installed. So right here, you'll see uh, Super Callouts in the DLL. And you can also change all your settings right here in the configuration settings. It's going to give you everything right here. 
um, interact. You can press Y and call out um, is and key, and you can set all these to false or true. Uh, make sure it's lowercase when you set it to false or true, and it should tell you right here as well in case you forget. So once you have that, make sure you save if you made any changes. And the last you're going to go ahead and do is go back to your directory, and you're going to go ahead and navigate to your uh, assorted callouts. Uh, I mean callouts manager right here. And uh, once you have that, you just want to go ahead and drag it and drop it again. These two files right here. Just want to go ahead and drag them and drop it right there. And once you have that done, you can uh, exit this out actually. And uh, you're just going to want to go ahead and go to your plugins, LSPDFR. And you'll see it right here, callout manager. Um, now the next you can do is uh, double click that. And uh, this is basically going to be all your uh, toggle keys. Uh, menu toggle key, that's going to be F10 set by... Uh, Myself, I changed it uh, from F12 since I have another plugin that uses F12. So, um, if you guys have any other plugins that use F12, I recommend you change it to something that's not being in use. Um, so, once you have that done, once you have all these configured, um, you just want to go ahead and select X and make sure you save any uh, changes that you did. Um, so, once you have all these installed, that's pretty much it. Um, you basically have additional callouts ready to go. So, um, I'll be loading into Rage Plugin Hook and I'll be showing you guys what it looks like in game. Alright guys, so once you've loaded on into your Rage plugin hook, um, you're just going to make sure that you install everything correctly by actually testing the mod. Um, so in order to test this mod, you will need to be on duty. So um, before you do anything, make sure that you are on duty. And uh, once you're on duty, you're just going to go ahead and select the button that you uh, set as your callout manager. So for mine, I selected F10. So once you select F10, you should see the callout manager right here. And uh, you just want to use your arrow keys to navigate through the selections here. And uh, the ones that you guys installed, you should see um, LSPDFR first response, a sort of callouts, and then you also should see super callouts. Um, the regular callouts and traffic police are callouts. Um, these are one. These are the ones that I've installed by myself. Um, if you guys want to go get those, um, they will be on the LSPDFR.com website. I will also be leaving those links down in the description as well. Um, but yeah, that's basically how you install extra callouts. Um, now what you can do is uh, go ahead and press enter on whichever one you want. I'm just going to show you guys an example of assorted callouts. So if you press enter right here, you'll see a list of callouts that you can do. And uh, you can select um, any, any one that you want. So for me, I'm just going to go ahead and select uh, shoplifting. You just want to go ahead and press enter. And uh, sometimes it will say fail to start shoplifting or whatever callout it is. So another thing that you can do is go ahead and go into your console and you can type in start callout and you can um, type in the callout that you want to do. Uh, I just totally spelled that wrong. And uh, for some reason it's not there. So um, yeah, uh, I don't know why um, some of them might not be there. But let's say if Hot Pursuit wasn't working, you could just go ahead and do that, and you can do it inside of your console as well. So uh, yeah, the callout manager is just an easier way of selecting your callouts faster. But uh, if they don't work for some reason, most likely you will be able to start them in the console. Um, so that's basically how you install more callouts. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you guys did, make sure to leave this video a like and subscribe. Um, if you guys have not joined that Discord server yet, I will be leaving that link down in the description below for you guys to join. Also, make sure you guys leave some comments and suggestions on what you guys want to see next time on my uh, future uploads. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, that's basically going to be it for this video. Have a good day, guys, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace out.